Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to talk to you about a roadmap to successful endodontics. Those who are following me needs to let me show you start the presentation here. And that's that's the roadmap. Those who are following me understands that I always talk do brain talk. Endodontics is a talent, it's a dexterity and knowledge, as you will see now. Uh, so this is this presentation today is going to be like an introduction to the uh, let me get in here there we go this is a roadmap to successful anonics in order for us to move from A to Z there always have to be a plan that we're uh, where we go from one one step to the other and uh, if you look at the case like this in here and you're, I, I'm basically I'm addressing the new graduates and those who have been having problems while practicing endodontics. I'm sure they will have problems in all aspects of endodontics, if dentistry, if they're not following the principles. See, there are two things here that we need to understand. One is, as you can see here, is the, uh, there we go, having problems for, uh, uh, let's, let's get into this. There we go. One is the knowledge. We need to understand what we're doing. Then, once we do that, then we start developing the dexterity. Remember this humble guy when he was talking about forget the science and forget the books and trying to mix up between the experience and the talent or the dexterity. They both complement each other. So we need to understand that. Without knowledge and science, we're not be able, gonna be able to provide service even if we have a good uh, hands, as we call it, okay? So we know this, this is where we end up. My second point here would be, if, if you are having problems, you need to understand and find answers to those five questions. The first one would be, you need to answer the question, what is the problem? Here, of course, we're talking about patients with pain of pulpal origin. So you need to understand that this is an initially endonic related problem, and that you can do that by diagnosis. Not all the time the patient will come to you clearly uh, with the symptoms. So once you're able to do that, so you identify the tooth, the second thing would be which tooth should be treated. Okay, that tooth needs to be treated, but should we treat it or not? That's what case selection. And I've seen this, unfortunately, in a lot of the cases on the web. As you can see, teeth are. See, there are three factors here. The tooth has to be restorable, periodontally sound, and functioning. I see a lot of cases that beautiful root canal, but the treatment, the, the, to, the tooth is not indicated for treatment to begin with. It's just like you're putting, if you work on the stock market, they tell you don't put uh, good money on the wrong place. That's what you do when you do good root canal in the tooth that is not indicated to begin with. And that's an issue that makes a difference between a good doctor and, I guess, a not good one. Now, the third question would be, can I do it? That's the case difficulty assessment. If you're following me, you realize that I've done like uh, two, three, four videos about this case difficulty assessment. This is where you need to appreciate the learning curve. So now I know that this is the tooth causing the problem, and I know that the tooth can be saved, it fulfilled the requirements, it's restorable, predominantly sound, and functioning. And uh, I understand that it is within my abilities as a clinician there are no contraindications for root canal, actually. Usually, extractions are because of other reasons rather than endodontics. So when I know that, then I start understanding and applying the phases of endodontics, uh, starting at cleaning and shaping. If you're following me, I have a lot of videos about uh, diagnosis, uh, taking radiographs and access opening, and then we're going to move forward to cleaning and shaping and so forth, or shaping for cleaning, if you say. So... We need to understand the phases. So if you're having problem, you need to understand where exactly is your problem, as you can see in here. Like sometimes problems with obturation, if you have an overextended filling, 
the problem is related actually to the cleaning and shaping phase, not to the obturation phase, phase. So you need to understand where your problem exactly. Remember I always say in order to solve a problem you have to identify one. So this is what you need to do. Okay, and finally you need to how to, the question would be how to choose and use the available technology. And this is a trap here. You find a lot of companies and a lot of files, a lot of instruments, a lot of devices. You need to know which one is, works better, best for you. Because if you don't and you have problems, you're going to start. We always blame others for our mistakes. You can sometimes you blame the patients. Patient is difficult to handle, patient moved. It happens, of course, but not as quite as often as we think. So the whole issue is, and you play the company, it's a poor file. Probably you send it in the wrong place. That's why it broke. So this is why we need to have an answer to those five questions. You need to diagnose the case. You need to uh, make sure that the tooth is savable. You need to make sure that uh, it's within the premises of your abilities. And then you need to understand the phases and choose the right instruments. And if I'm going to go in here, actually, as I said, this is a preparation for the full course that I'm working on. And I'm, I'm just continuing that because we'll be talking about shaving for cleaning. This is the next episode. We'll continue from where we start. And when we do, when we do that, we're going to be talking about lot of things that is uh, see there are a lot of guidelines just for cleaning and shaving as you can see there are so many guidelines in there that will tell you there's even more uh, recent ones that tells you it's like a cookbook how to do things peacefully or safely and that's what I'm going to discuss next time inshallah when we talk to about the shaping for cleaning things okay so, uh, I think, mm -hmm. uh, I need to be excused here, blah, 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 there we go. So, that, that, that's probably about it. This is about what I want to tell you, what we talk about, and uh, hopefully next time we should be able to, to talk about the cleaning and shame particularly. Just learning the new technologies, you can see I'm having some problems with the synchronizing the, but it's okay. So I'm learning here. You guys enjoy doing anonics. Please try to understand the principles and appreciate what we have in our hands. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time when we resume our courses. Then we'll talk about a cookbook, how to do cleaning and shaping. Inshallah. Thank you. Bye now.